Knife Joe. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy is back with a fresh batch of dope. Not dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Speaking of not stopping, let me start out by congratulating our newly elected and 47th president of the United States, Mr. Donald J. Trump. Now, regardless of how you feel about the topic, we will not be discussing politics here at Night Dope Studios, for it is usually a polarizing issue, dividing us all. But something that will bring us all together will be this beauty, the sexiest PM2 Tonto known to man. This is my Spyderco PM2 American Tonto apparatus. Gorgeous satin finish on that M4 blade, beautiful compound grind, rocking these RG custom metalwork titanium scales, love the diamond texture, mill titanium pocket clip, utilizing Spyderco's no longer patented compression lock. Hands down the sexiest PM2 Tonto known to man. Don't believe me? Prove me wrong. Now today's video is going to be a video to try to finally put to rest whether or not the Prince Customs Protean is truly the rosy killer as I have, uh, as I have called it. And so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Also quickly, update. We have an updated affiliate code for you guys. Uh, no longer will you be using Knife Dope on DNK Knives for your 10% discount. Going forward, the code FUCKER will save you 10 goddamn percent at DNK Knives. None of these other knife retailers outside of White Mountain is doing this for you guys. And DNK has got a fantastic selection. Head on over there, use code FUCKER, and save yourself 10 goddamn percent. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to be going over um, side by side the... Oz Machine Roosevelt versus the Prince Customs Protean. We're going to call it the Knife Dope Battle for the Throne. Uh, big shout out to Lefty. I took this play sheet, changed a few of the, um, one of the uh, categories. Uh, but the way this works is you can see these are our categories. There goes our two knives. Uh, the winner of each category will get a point, And the loser for each category will get a zero. We'll give the total here in the bottom to distinguish once and for all who's the true winner between these two knives. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to give you guys four budget alternatives, or rather, I'm sorry, three budget alternatives uh, for the Rosie or the Protean, however you feel about it. Uh, and then before we start today's uh, competition, these four knives are you will not find in the competition for one reason or another, but they are so goddamn fantastic that I've got to acknowledge them. Uh, the first one is going to be this one, Demco AD20. Mine, of course, is rocking these titanium scales from Original Goat. Also can save yourself 15% with the discount code FUCKER at Original Goat. But the main reason why you don't see this one is because of the price tier. Uh, base price for this is only $4.25. Comes with G10. Uh, just no comparison when it comes to the tier of the Rosie and Protean. Uh, such a wonderful knife nonetheless, but it's not in the competition. Keeping that same energy, we got this beauty. Gen 2 of the McNeese Mac 2 3.5 rendition, glorious Tonto apparatus. Now, although I feel this is a close, uh, when it comes to quality, uh, I feel it's very close up there to the Rosie and the Protean. Falls a little shy, and that's mainly because of the price tier. You know, I'm sure if they really wanted to jazz it up some, uh, they would easily be able to compete with the, uh, with the Rosie and the Protean. But this is such a fantastic knife in its own right. Uh, but that's the reason why you're not going to see it in the competition today. Uh, now, these two are totally different. Uh, the reason you won't be seeing either of these two is because these are clearly, and I said clearly, better than both the Rosie and the Protean. Uh, this one is the Brown Knives Mini FSD, number 427 to be exact. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is the most expensive knife you will see on the video today, uh, and it is one of the best. And then last up, we've got the official knife of the channel, 
You've seen her before. You know her goddamn name. We're talking about the SPK Lamia Nature Grip, otherwise known as that Ric Flair. Woo! This knife was clearly better than both of those, so it would be no competition. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the dope. All right, the two contestants for today are these two knives. Now, big shout out goes out to Mr. Jonathan for sending the protein down my way. Uh, I've had it for several weeks. It's about time I ship it back. Uh, now, this Rosie you see here in front of you was actually purchased by me several weeks back uh, underneath Operation Rosie 2.0. Update, as of the filming of this video this morning, this has been sold. I tried, people. But anyways, back to the comp. Uh, first, first category we've got today is going to be on price. Now, to give you a quick idea on what it is we're dealing with as far as price category goes, uh, these are the prices of the knives I showed you earlier. Uh, number one, that Brown Knives Mini FSD. These are for all stock, plain Jane variants rather. Uh, $8.55 for the Mini FSD. Uh, $7.75, I think $7.60 was for the actual plain Jane on the Lamia. Uh, then we've got $7.60 for a plain Jane Protean. $7.50 for a plain Jane Rosie. So really there's only a $10 difference as far as the price goes. I think that is such a, uh, such a little number to try to let affect either way that I decided to use the packaging and presentation as the tiebreaker for the price point. And if I'm being honest, I mean, that this is easy. Hands down, it's going to be the rosy. Um, you can see here we've got a much, much more attractive presentation. We've got a nice uh, cardboard box with a magnet flap. Got the Oz Machine Company logo and um, branding here on the show side, or rather on the uh, cover of the, of the box. Magnetic flap. You get your COA right there. You got a nice velvet inlay. Um, and then, of course, the dope. I think that looks far better than what um, Prince Customs is giving us. You know, in all, fair <clears throat> pardon me, in all fairness, new brand, new model. Maybe not a new brand, but a new model. So I get it. Uh, but, you know, it's a flimsy case, you know, it's got a plastic shield, uh, some type of rubber inlay. I just think that presentation wise, um, that's going to make all the difference, uh, especially since the protein is $10 more. So we're going to give this first category to the um, to the Rosie, God damn it. So one point for the Rosie, zero for the protein. Now, next up is going to be materials. Now, the Oz Machine Roosevelt, for the most part, is available in Magna Cum Laude. Uh, yeah, they've got some Van X variants, but those are far and few in between. But um, when it comes to materials, for the most part, most of the proteins that have dropped and that are in circulation are in 20 CV. Uh, both of them have titanium scales, titanium hardware, backspacer, and pocket clip as well. Um, but as far as plain Jane variants goes... I think these two are spot on with each other as far as materials goes. So because of that, I'm going to give each of these a point, essentially a tie on that. Uh, now, next up is going to be perceived value. The general consensus when it comes to the Rosie is that a lot of people really feel this is the best knife ever. Yes, they do. Um, I actually thought that before buying it. I felt that I had to have it in the collection uh, because that's the perceived value with this Rosie. And then even on the secondary, they actually go for more than you get them for at table. Uh, so I think when it comes to perceived value, although I do love this Protean, I think if I'm being 100% honest and non-biased, I think the Rosie has got the higher perceived value. So we're going to give another point to the Rosie and another zero to the Protean. Uh, we're now three to one so far. Next up is going to be aesthetics. Woo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> shit. Now let's look at the aesthetics. I think both of these American knives are absolutely stunning. Uh, the Rosie is also very, very, um, very, very attractive. Uh, remember, I want, I want you guys to pretend you do not see the milling because this is supposed to be a plain Jane variant. Uh, but aesthetically, you get this nice rectangular handle. Uh, you get the two, the, the generous finger choil up here, as well as a secondary cutout. Uh, titanium backspacer, mill titanium pocket clip. Recessed titanium hardware, beautiful drop point apparatus with a little bit of belly. Love the stone wash finish on the blade. Love that dark stone wash finish on the handle. That's going to be hard to beat. However, this Protean is just as impressive, if not even more. 
Uh, number one, I'm really digging that clip point blade. Love the hollow grind. We've got a beautiful stone wash finish on the blade as well as the scales. Love the chamfering on this gunstock uh, shaped handle. Um, love the milled pocket clip. I think aesthetically, that's going to go to the Protean. Uh, let's put them side by side. Also, you get this um, nice Infinity logo there on the blades, or rather on the spine of the blade. Uh, you get a floating backspacer. So because of those differences, I feel that the, uh, the Protean is definitely a little bit more aesthetically appealing to me. So I'm going to give that round to the, uh, to the Protean. Now, next up is going to be Ergo's. Hands down, prior to doing this video, I really anticipated the, uh, the Rosie winning this category. Uh, number one, we've got that super generous finger choil, which does accommodate the full purchase, no refund. Um, you get the neutral rectangular handle, thin, uh, thin handle as far as thickness goes as well. You do get a milled pocket clip. I can feel that pocket clip ever so slightly when I'm in full purchase mode. Um, but still, nonetheless, fantastic ergos for me. However, if you had bigger digits, thicker hands, um, I can see where this nub would probably or quite possibly could be an issue for you. Uh, so that's something to consider. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the Protean, there is no dedicated finger choil. They do allow a spot for you to choke up. Uh, but back to the gunstock shaped pattern, this allows for so many different ranges of grips. Uh, finger sizes, hand sizes, that you can make it as comfortable as you want. Um, I do not feel that clip nearly as much as I felt the rosy clip. Um, so I think as far as ergonomics goes, I'm giving this round to the goddamn Protean. So a zero for the rosy and one for the Protean. Now this next, uh, next round, or rather next category, is going to be for cutting geometry. Now, being as these knives are no longer mine, number one, this one was never mine, but the Rosie isn't mine, I can't go ahead and do some, some serious cutting with, uh, you know, cardboard or anything like that. But what I can do is cut some goddamn paper. Uh, number one, the Rosie is a super slicey hoe. I think we've got 125 thousandths blade stock thickness, full flat grind. So as far as paper goes, I mean, this bitch just slices and slices. So she is definitely a slicey hoe. Uh, when it comes to the Protean, this is, uh, has been sharpened by the owner. Uh, we've got a little bit of thicker blade stock. We've got a hollow grind versus a full flat. Now, sure, it's not the uh, factory edge, which would have been the ideal situation, but I do think if I'm being 100% honest, the Rosie has got a little bit more of a slicey blade cutting geometry. Uh, so because of that, we're going to give this round to the Rosie as I try to pick up all of the goddamn uh, pieces of paper. Uh, so yeah, as far as blade geometry and cutting geometry goes, we're going to give this round to the Rosie. So we'll put a point there. Zero for the Proteum. Uh, next up is going to be carryability. When it comes to carryability, for the most part, we're going to rely on the pocket clip. Uh, so here we go side by side. Both knives have mill titanium pocket clips. Uh, when it comes to the rosy, it is you know nothing nothing that blows you away. Slight curvature nature to the clip, um, decent height clearance as far as uh, you know how how much room you've got there between the scale to the top or the underside of the clip. Uh, as far as tension goes, not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, tension you know as far as um, you know, goddamn, uh, like uh, uh, elasticity. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a ton of it. Um, it feels kind of stiff. As far as deep carry wise goes, you have about that much hanging out the pocket. Not reversible. Keep that in mind also. Uh, now the Protean, the clip, when you look at it, you can see it's way more robust. Uh, aesthetically more appealing as well. You got this nice chamfer, a little bit of uh, slimming as you get towards the tip of the clip. Um, height wise, I think it's about the same as the Rosie as far as height clearance, as far as your elasticity definitely has more play to allow you uh, a wider range of pocket hem as far as going in and out the pocket. I think over time, this is going to stand up uh, to more, be more durable. Um, and then as far as clearance or rather depth in pocket, this has the slightest deeper carry. 
So because of that, I'm going to give the carryability feature or category to the Protean. So zero for the rosy and one for the Protean. Now we're going to talk about acoustics. If you have never heard the rosy, it is audibly pleasing. I mean, acoustically, this sounds wonderful. Listen to it come back to the house. I could play, I could do this all fucking day, people. I mean, it is that pleasing. So very pleasing acoustically is the Rosie. Uh, the Protean, also enjoyable. Now, something to consider, for the most part, these have a ting to them, the Protean that is. Uh, the owner of this one adjusted the spring, or rather adjusted the pocket clip to prevent that ting from being present. Um, don't know if that would make, if that would really make a difference for me, but if I'm being 100% honest and unbiased, I think the Rosie is slightly better when it comes to the acoustics. So because of that, I will give a point to the Rosie and a zero to the Proteum. Uh, next competition is going to be action and detent. So let's see what this one is. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Rosie, the Rosie actually has two ceramic detent balls, uh, which helps with disengaging and helping that, um, you know, that detent to, or when it comes to disengaging and there's no, there's no hang up, it just drops freely. Uh, gives you a crisp deployment every goddamn time. Feels outstanding. A um, little bit of shake, brings it right back to the house. I think it's got wonderful action. They come with uh, customized bearings from Oz. So no need to upgrade, no need to throw skips or anything. Um, so wonderful action and detent sensation from the Rosie. Uh, when it comes to the Protean, also has ceramic detent. Uh, doesn't have two, it's got just a one traditional detent. Um, very easy to deploy. Both of these are very easy to deploy. Uh, no issues with that. A little bit of a shake, gets it right back to the house. I tell you, granted, I know the Rosie has got two detent balls. I don't think there's, there, there's a, I think they both feel fantastic. I think the action is great on both of them. Oh, man. I got to do a tie. Fuck it. We're doing a tie. So they each have um, outstanding action and outstanding detent. Uh, next up is going to be fit and finish between these two. Now, the, um, like I mentioned, do not consider or rather do not let this affect you, this milling. We're just going to go with fit and finish to the knife. Uh, both of these are done exquisitely well. Uh, both 100% USA made. Um, you know, we got a nice dark wash finish on this one. Beautiful chamfer that goes around the entire knife. Uh, you've got some, some rather wide jimping there at the base of the spine. Uh, we've got titanium backspacer. Uh, we've got titanium hardware recessed at that. Fit and finish is wonderful on this. I can't, I can't even shit you. But when it comes to the Protean, we've got a beautiful stonewash finish. There is some micro milling lines going on here on the actual handle. Don't know if the camera will show it, but trust me, I'd never shit you. Also have titanium hardware that is recessed on the body. We also get a uh, floating backspacer, which I think is uh, such a nice touch. Love the chamfering. Um, we see here on the uh, gunstock shaped handle. I think uh, I think fit and finish wise, I gotta go with the Protean, and they're only getting better, bro. Only getting better. So fit and finish, one for the Protean, zero for the uh, for the Rosie. So we are now one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to six, and we're at the last category. The last category is going to be deployments. Now you might not know, but both of these knives actually have dual deployments. Uh, we've got a improvised front flipper on both of them. On the Rosie, we've got this um, spaced out kind of, um, I say mild jimping. I mean, it's, it's got some texture to it. Uh, versus on the Protean, we've got um, closer jimping and it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressive in a good way. And then, of course, we've got the main form of deployment with the Rosie. It is that D-shaped cutout, uh, which allows you no pro or rather gives you no issues every time, no matter which way you deploy the knife. Uh, you got the thumb flick, 
you got the reverse flick and then of course the improvised front flipper all forms are easily actuatable same type of thing going on here with the protean uh, we don't have a cutout we've got blade windows uh, on both sides of the blade front flipper i think is a little bit easier to deploy than the rosy one uh, i can get it all day oh, man god damn this is harder than i thought people it really is <sighs> one more time I think when it, woo, that bitch is tearing my finger up, motherfucker. <sighs> I'm going to have to give the deployments to, uh, to the Rosie. So that was the last category. Zero for the Protean, one for the Rosie. Let's tally this shit up together, live and direct. So for the Rosie, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for the Rosie is the total. And then for the Protean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. So apparently, if we're uh, keeping score, I guess the, uh, the Oz Machine Roosevelt scored higher than the Protean. By one, but it still scored higher. So I guess... Uh, as it stands, maybe the Protean is not the Rosie Killer. But I promise you guys a couple of budget alternatives. Two coming from China. First one will be the Wii Hyphen. Now I say budget alternative, um, and what I basically mean is it's going to give us very similar ergos, uh, a great experience for this knife, this Wii Hyphen. Uh, this was actually my knife of the year for the price point. I think this is a super wonderful budget alternative if you're okay with Chinese knives. Uh, to the two knives I've shown you today comes in about 240 uh, and then more Chinese dope for your palate K.O.T.Y. contender uh, if I'm being honest this uh, Kun Wu Compadre has such a similar feel in the hand as far as ergos goes to the rosy uh, you get that nice finger choil which puts you right on top of the blade edge there uh, this one's actually a little bit I think if I'm being honest a little bit more pleasing ergonomically because we number one I think the secondary hole or secondary finger grip doesn't have that, that high crest point like the Rosie does. And then we've got some, uh, some curvature in the handle versus a straight rectangle. Uh, same slicey blade profile. This is fantastic, people. But the real Rosie killer of today's video has got to be this one. Budget alternative. Uh, this, of course, is the Spider Code Native 5. Uh, not any Native 5, this variant specifically, which is the Fluted Carbon Fiber S90V. Steel of the Gods. You've got the uh, Spyderco hole for deployment, which I think, generally speaking, the consensus is everyone loves the Spyderco hole uh, for your deployment. Also USA made. Uh, acoustically, you've got the Slow Roll, which is super pleasing. Um, then, of course, you've got the Spidey Flick. Uh, you get due to the curvature on the or rather the contour nature of the carbon fiber uh, It feels better in hand than the rosy. You also got that generous 50 50 finger choil beautiful spear point blade uh, Put you in control of the knife put you right on target for a fraction of the price So plot twist bitches Spyderco native 5 is truly the rosy killer But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think do you agree with my score sheet? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Into the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers. <laughs>